Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. While QuickBooks does contain a depreciation calculator, your accountant should provide you with the amounts to enter in for depreciation on your fixed assets. They should at least double check your depreciation entries. And when you have those amounts, you can enter them into the decrease column of the accumulated depreciation subaccounts register that you created for that fixed asset. The amount will then be attributed to an expense account, such as depreciation expense. Note that the accumulated depreciation account would always have a negative balance in this case as it tracks the loss of value to a fixed asset account, which is its parent account. And you can see that then reflected here in the chart of accounts as well as in your balance sheet. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.